This beautiful Indian girl from London is a great admirer of the work you're doing for India. This is the message that flashed across the phone sometime in July 2022 of 59-year-old Pradeep Kurulkar, a senior scientist at the Defence Research and Development Organisation (DRDO), India's premier military R&D agency. Always working behind the scenes, he was happy to be acknowledged. Oh wow, I feel humbled. But who are you? And soon began a conversation as the victim swam into the trap. My name is Sara Dasgupta, sir, an engineering student. How can I help you? Sir, I would be honored if you helped me with my research on engineering systems. Sure, why not? So they both kept chatting, sometimes even calling every day for several days in a row discussing a project to which he gave technical inputs. Flattered with the attention, the scientist boasted unbashedly about his achievements. I've lost count of the missiles I've made in the last 3 decades. Agni, Akash, Brahmos and the Prithvi defense vehicle. While she massaged his ego even more. Only you could have done this in the country, sir. By now, the scientist was on a high horse of these incessant sweet compliments. But what added to his attraction to the girl was a high sense of nationalism. Kurulkar was a third generation swayamsevak and often flexed his nationalist credentials and his association with the RSS on social media. I tell you, India will soon finish Pakistan forever. That's the josh my girl. Our thoughts match. He now got so into her that he would talk to her till late at night even as his wife slept right beside him. Outwardly, Kurulkar was a dutiful family man and there was no apparent tension between him and his dental surgeon wife. But he was 6 months away from retirement and the prospect of impending loneliness and this young woman had brought the spark back into his otherwise mundane life. Soon the chats turned into sexting. What are you wearing inside? It's your favorite color. She started sending him explicit photographs of herself but without exposing her face. which soon turned into similar types of video calls as well it seemed he was the perfect sugar daddy mentoring the girl and getting some fun in exchange so enamored was kurulkar that he even planned to extend his russia trip to london just to meet her but both trips got cancelled alas he would never get to meet his paramour as in feb 2023 during a routine surveillance central agencies found that the plus 44 uk number which the girl used had a pakistani ip address They alerted DRDO's vigilance wing, who started an internal inquiry under Colonel Pradeep Rana. I can't believe this is happening. The inquiry also disclosed that he was obsessed with women and regularly met a number of them at the DRDO guest house. When Kurulkar got wind of the inquiry, he was shocked to learn that he was the victim of a honey trap by a Pakistan intelligence operative. Embarrassing, since he had recently participated in a seminar on how to avoid being honey trapped just last year. as part of the armed forces awareness drive so a panicked kurulkar blocked her and deleted data from his mobile phone laptop and pen drive which the ats is now trying to retrieve having been blocked by kurulkar the pakistani agent allegedly honey trapped a junior corporal in bengaluru's air force unit nikhil shende and used his whatsapp and contacted kurulkar once again why have you blocked me but this time kurulkar did not reply back Meanwhile, the inquiry revealed her seductive modus operandi of how for every piece of clothing she removed over a video call, he in turn gave her a piece of classified information about India's various missile systems, Agni, Akash, Brahmos and Prithvi. Ever since Brahmos, Pakistani intelligence has been trying to honey trap officers and diplomats, and while there have been a few cases, most of them have been small fry. Their previous biggest catch was in 2018 when they honey trapped Nishant Agarwal. an award winning scientist working directly on brahmos and an indian diplomat stationed in islamabad on which bizbo already did a story but this time they caught a really big fish of the highest level kurulkar was a grade age outstanding scientist third in the drdo hierarchy and equivalent to the rank of additional secretary in a ministry of the union government a winner of several prestigious awards he was one of 10 scientists selected out of 6000 for gfast formed in the mid 2000 to explore the future of defense research in India being a career scientist with DRDO since 1988 he has worked on several key missile projects but he was best known for being a key member of the Akash surface to air missile systems design development and production team his staff fondly remember him as a talkative boss who loved to share stories 
It was a glorious moment of my career when I worked with APG Abdul Kalam ji during his stint as DRDO chief. Not just a techie, he was a creative scientist who played the saxophone, flute, tabla and mridangam with equal finesse. So it was a shock when he was arrested on May 3rd, charged for violating the Official Secrets Act and subject to hours of repeated interrogation. What did you show her? Missile designs, engineering secrets, capabilities, ranges, deployments, locations, what? Holding a diplomatic passport, he had visited six countries: China, Nepal, Malaysia, Mauritius, South Africa, and Kenya, all of which are now under scrutiny, as he could have been honey trapped there as well. His personal treks to Kailash Mansarovar and Everest Base Camp are also being scrutinized for the same reason, as are all the women he met at DRDO's guest house, because he could have been set up there too. Kurulkar's association with the RSS has also had a political fallout, with the BJP forced to defend itself. Ideal honey trap victims seem to have a typical demographic profile. Either they are young and out to have a good time, but then they are too junior, or they are older, trapped in dead end marriages, looking for attention elsewhere. Pradeep Kurulkar fits perfectly in the second mold. Added to that, he was among India's finest. DRDO is now upping his drive against subversion, advising employees to avoid social media entirely and not answer calls from unknown numbers. This incident has shaken the army as well. We have taken note of it in a very, very major manner. Measures like surprise checks and external audits will help minimize the threat. As we wait for the outcome in this case, remember that Pakistani spies fall in love with Indian agents only in movies. In reality, it's all a honey trap. Bezbo's limerick. There was a scientist who fell in honey. He did it for love. It wasn't the money. The irony is cruel. Trapped like a fool, he was made to look like a dummy. You will also find these sources listed in our video description section.